I've only known these men through their names and through information that the prison recorded or that the courts or the newspapers recorded. So it's so nice to just hear like a, like a humanizing voice, you know? Hmm. If you're interested, I would love to talk to you more about him at some time. Yeah, you have a good night too. Thank you. Mike didn't go to prison. They carried him off to the mental hospital. Sometimes they gave homosexuals electric shocks to reorient their desires. Sometimes they did lobotomies. Mike's medical records are confidential. I tried calling Jan a few more times, but she didn't seem interested. I imagine the meeting we'll never have. She takes out old photos. Here's Mike as a young man, a flower he saw in Arizona. Belgium, a year of sex and heartbreak. His lover. This used to have a picture of my mom and my grandma in here. I'm not sure why I took it out. Why imagine the life of a guy you never knew? I could give you political reasons or spiritual reasons. There's poetry. I dreamed that Cassandra and I were orphans. We went into a house full of strangers. A woman led Cassandra to the basement. In the kitchen, I studied a group of men. They were balding. One had a unibrow. Another had a fish hook piercing the back of his neck. I realized that these men were planning to kill me. I went to the basement to find Cassandra. She wasn't there. <laughs> 